Good, find that nice comfortable seated position in any way. You can sit on your shins, you can sit in a cross-legged position and again, just a little wiggle wobble around. I am going to support myself on this blanket. That's very, it's not very high up. And I'm also gonna support my knees as well. Um, so again, you can choose whatever props you wanna use, but again, you know, it's up close here so you can kind of see. So keeping your hands just anywhere on your lap, your knees, palms up, palms down. Again, any arm position that helps you not, you know, fidget around. You wanna find and move into this place of stillness. And slowly start to close your eyes if you haven't already. Or you can keep your focus just down towards the ground, just moving a little more internally. I'm just reminding ourselves here as we begin our practice tonight together that we're moving in a place that feels good for our body, that we're honoring what our body needs. So even if you know, I'm suggesting a pose that doesn't feel right. Just choosing to maybe just find stillness. You can pause, you can sit. Okay, you can always make any modifications as needed. Okay, we're coming from a place of stabilization. So feeling stabilized in this wild, wild world we are living in. All right, so taking that time to just move in a way that feels grounded, helps you feel at ease allows you to feel stable. Okay. And let's just take a nice big deep inhale in through our nose and then a big exhale out through our mouth. Inhaling in through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth. And then inhaling in, exhaling out. And then we're going to start to begin our square or box breathing. Okay, we'll start with count um, number three. I feel like that's a really good um, number to start with. So we're going to inhale for three counts, hold for three counts, exhale for three counts, and hold again for three counts. Okay. And again, this I'm just choosing this number three. You can always go to two. Um, we won't go past number five, but we'll just start with three. Okay. So we'll inhale for one two, three, hold for three, two, one. Exhale out for one, two, three. Stay empty for three, two, one. Inhaling in for one, two, three, hold for three, two, one. Exhale out for one, two, three, Pause for three, two, one. Inhaling in for one, two, three. Hold it for three, two, one. Exhale for one, two, three. Pause, three, two, one. Okay, and you're, of course you're welcome to increase it. So inhaling in for one, two, three, four. Hold for four. Three, two, one. Exhale out for one, two, three, four. Pause for three, two, one. Inhaling in for one, two, three, four. Hold for four, three, two, one. Exhale out for one, two, three, four, hold for one, two, three, four. Okay, taking just a few moments to find, okay, that rhythm of your breath, that box breathing, right? So inhaling in, holding, exhaling out and pausing. Okay. And just choosing the count that works best for your body.
Good. Your last round. You'll slowly take a nice big deep inhale in through your nose. And then just take a nice big exhale out through your mouth. Okay, and then just notice your body. Okay, notice how you're reacting or responding to this, you know, box breathing. Okay, if you got frustrated, if you felt relief, okay, all of those feelings, all of those, you know, energies, everything that you're um, is feeling is all valid. Okay, and just take a moment. Okay, let's roll the shoulders back just a few times. Okay, good. And then let's slowly roll the circle and just uh, roll your head in a circle. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I'm so sorry. <laughs> roll your circles around. <laughs> roll your head around in a few circles. <laughs> there we go. I'll I'll finally find out my figure out my body parts towards the end of the class, right? <laughs> and of course, spend any time you need to in any areas that feel like you just a little more extra love and care. And when you're ready, you'll slowly reverse the circle. Going in the opposite direction. And again, just noticing maybe how this direction feels. Does it feel the same? Does it feel different? Right? What's changing? What's evolving? Okay, great. Okay, awesome. And then go ahead and bring your head back in line with your spine. And of course, you guys are welcome to ditch any of the props, switch the cross of your legs if you'd like. We're just going to move into some side body stretches. So arms reach out nice and long, left hand down, right arm up and over. Okay. And I want us to just really focus on our ribs. Okay. So think about like puffing a little bit of air in that right rib cage. So it lifts up towards the sky a little bit more and then take your top hand and cradle your head. Okay. And then drop your head, make it nice and heavy. And notice how when you let your head and your neck go that you can get a little bit deeper stretch between each rib. And again, you wanna really puff up the rib cage. So it's not about how far down you go. You wanna stay anchored in the hips. And then again, really puffy in the rib cage and then drop the head. Good, let's just stay for a few more deep breaths, soften the shoulders. Good, and I know for me, sometimes it's hard to let go of my head to like make it nice and heavy. Okay, good, let's slowly rise up and then we'll switch sides. Right hand down, left arm up and over, nice big side body stretch. And again, think about the ribs really puffing up, finding length through the right side, just as much as the left. And then cradling your head, drop your head, really hold it, okay? Right, our head weighs like 15, 20 pounds. So let that weight, you know, assist you in a little bit of a deeper stretch, okay? Good, nice full breath. Good. And then we'll gently rise on up. Okay. So we look from left to right, right to left, just looking side to side. Okay. And actually, I want to do that side body stretch again. Okay. So we're going to do it one more time. So go ahead and bring your head back in line with your spine. We'll bring our left hand down, right arm over, and then again, cradling the head and dropping the head, making it nice and heavy. And again, maybe notice how this side feels, okay? Or the second round, I should say, does it feel a little bit different? Are you able to let go a little bit more? Can you puff your ribs up a little bit? Good, can you relax your shoulders? I just noticed my shoulders were like really up by my ears. Okay, inhale in, exhale, release, and switching sides, right hand down, left arm up and over, and again, cradling your head, drop your head. Nice, soft, full breath. And a little bit goes a long way here, right? We're not always going for the most extreme sensation, okay? We wanna go to where it feels really good and supportive, right? And that stabilizing, grounding work, okay? Good, inhale in, exhale, we'll gently release, okay? And then this time, we're just gonna drop our left ear to our left shoulder, and then right ear to right shoulder, and we'll gently just, you know, Feel like this is just like a way to loosen up your traps a little bit, the muscles supporting your neck and your shoulders, just going back and forth gently. Okay, good. Okay, great. And then the next time your ear is towards the left, just pause there. Okay, and then we'll add the hand. The right hand's gonna reach out and away down towards the mat. Left arm can reach up and over. And again, you're just using a little bit of assistance with the top hand to just kind of guide you, find a little bit of resistance in the stretch through the right side of the neck, okay? 
I sometimes find fingertips grounded really helps deepen the stretch for me, but you can also play with flexing your hand and pressing the heel of your hand away, the palm of your hand out. Okay, I'm gonna go back and forth, kind of feel the difference here, good. Sitting up nice and tall, again, trying not to lean. So it's so much different than our side body stretch. We're just moving the head, okay, not our whole body, good. Take a nice big deep inhale in. Use your hand to help lift your head up nice and slow. Good, and then we'll switch sides, right ear to right shoulder. And again, you can even notice right away, like I know once I start to add my arms, I start to like get a little pitchy and like lean a little bit. So kind of check in, like anchor and root down through those sit bones. Then you can add the left hand grounding down then the right arm. And then again, just notice like, are you lean? <laughs> I think there's a song about that. Lean, i lean. <laughs> Good, and then flexing through the palm of your hand. Good. And again, you can play with going back and forth, just noticing the difference, a little bit of that activation, that resistance, stretching. Hmm. Man, this side is like so tight. Okay, let's inhale in. Gently exhale, use your hand to lift your head back up. Okay, good. And then let's just circle the head again, just a few times, okay? We won't spend as much time here. Good. What's evolving, what's changing, what's staying the same, reversing the circle. Okay, awesome. Okay, great. And then go ahead and bring your head back in line with your spine. We're gonna lean back, we're gonna plant our feet onto the ground, okay? And then feet will be about shoulder distance. If you wanna go wider, that's fine, just as long as they're hip distance. We'll just do some window wipers here, just going back and forth, okay? And if you can see, you know, I'm leaning fairly far back, so I have somewhere to go. I have some space to move around, okay? And then I'm going to ditch my um, extra padding here, my blanket for now, okay? So I'm gonna be a little more grounded <laughs> on the mat. Okay, good. Okay, so there's that internal rotation, that external rotation of the hips. Okay, gentle twisting, okay, in the, you know, in the spine. Good. And then the next time the legs are over to the right, we're gonna pause to the right, and then we're gonna try to bring ourselves up to seated as best as we can. If you're pitching over to the right, that's fine, okay? Um, you're welcome to leave this left leg exactly where it is. I'm more comfortable hugging it in. So I grab my left ankle and I'm gonna open my left knee up just slightly, okay? Because that's more comfortable for me, but you're welcome to stay in a stag position, okay? From here, we're literally just gonna fold over the right shin, okay? And this is your half pigeon pose, okay? That's all. Just think of it as pigeon. So if you're like, I'm not sure like where my weight is, I'm also like pretty, I'm not totally square on my hips, okay? I'm also like leaning a little bit to the right, as you can see. And then I'm just gonna fold over my right shin. So when you look down, you should see your shin, your right foot, you know, is over to the left, your knees over to the right, you're folded totally forward over that right shin. Okay, there's your half pigeon pose. Okay, so kind of the beginning of our little half series here. And don't worry, we'll, we'll spend some time getting into full pigeon, okay? If you wanna go deeper here, you are welcome to start walking your hands over to the right so that when your chest lowers down and you look down, you're looking directly at your kneecap, okay? So you can stretch a little bit more over to the right to change the angle up. And that is a little bit of a slightly deeper, you know, half, half um, pigeon pose, okay? Okay, go back to that nice, full, deep breath, finding that rhythm of your breath. And again, you know, working in a way that maybe, you know, is you're feeling like you're in a place of discovery, finding something new. Maybe you don't go all the way down. Maybe you stay propped up on your hands and you feel the stretch in a different way. Know that you can move in a different way. You don't have to move the way you always move, right? Because we're always wanting to learn 
about our bodies, learn about the poses and the positions and how, you know, to kind of deepen our practice. And it's not always going to the fullest expression, okay? Okay, from here, let's walk our hands, you know, slightly back towards like what feels like center towards the left a little bit so that you can come back up and then again, really be mindful of your knees. You're going to just walk your hands back and then it'll just come back into that place of window wipers, shifting back and forth. And again, you know, I'm being really mindful of like my space feels different today because I left my couch here and I'm trying not to get frustrated that the couch is in the way. So I'm kind of using it. I'm leaning back into the couch a little bit. Okay. So if, you know, everyone's space is different, try not to get frustrated. <laughs> You know, if something's in the way, use it to your advantage, all right? And then the next time your knees are over to the left, okay? Just let them fall to the left. And again, remember, I'm kind of pitched over here. And then we're just going to fold over the left shin, okay? And again, I'm leaving this leg here, the back leg, just so you can see what it looks like if you didn't move it in. But you're welcome to tuck it and open the hips up a little bit more, right? If that feels good for your knee, okay? It's not necessary. Again, you can do this. Uh, pose with your leg, um, kind of like in a little half frog, okay? Oh my gosh, we're doing all these half poses. Half pigeon, and then here's a little half frog pose, right? So again, just move in a way that feels supported and grounded. <sighs> and then you can kind of stay here and feel like, oh, this is so much nicer than full pigeon. <laughs> you can enjoy it a little bit more. And then again, you can walk your hands over to the left so that your chest is over the left knee. And if you look down, you're looking directly at your left kneecap. Okay, again, you're welcome to stay there or move towards the left. Can you deepen your breath? Can you pause and find stillness? Can you discover something new and different on this side? And it can be something small, like, oh, I'm gonna breathe a little bit deeper. I'm gonna change, you know, my thoughts here. I'm gonna, you know, stay present. Okay, it can always be something really small and that feels small and subtle, but is a big change and transformation. Okay, great. And then from here, we'll slowly start to walk our hands back to where it feels sort of like neutral to rise back up, hands behind your hips. And again, we'll just do some little window wipers here, just swishing a little bit from side to side. Okay, great. Good, you guys. Okay, then right away, we're just gonna come on into hands and knees into tabletop, okay? And again, if this is a place, you know, where your knees feel sensitive, you're welcome, again, to kind of, you know, use that blanket um, as well, okay? So go ahead and come on to your hands and knees and right away, just start to move in and out of cat and cow. Connecting your breath to your movement. All right, so inhaling in, cow pose. Exhaling out, cat. Cool. Toes can be pointed back or tucked under. And again, whatever feels best for your knees and your ankles. Awesome. Slowly start to find this neutral spine. Gently walk your hands in towards your knees. We're going to come up to standing on our knees and shins. Press your hips forward, reach your arms up over your head. Okay, so here's your half Tadasana, your half mountain pose. Okay, and then really press the hips forward and lift up through the chest. So it feels like maybe a slight little back bend, but just opening up the chest and the shoulders. Okay, take a nice big deep inhale in here. Exhaling slowly, start to bow down, child's pose. Okay, go really slow. Maybe your hands touch first and then you're able to lower all the way down. Maybe you can make one big motion. Okay, kind of just check out your child's pose here. Take a nice big deep inhale here. Exhaling, shift forward, tabletop. Okay. Hands are gonna move about a handprint forward. 
hips are going to shift forward. So we're moving from tabletop into half plank. Okay. And again, you can lift your legs up if you want, or you can keep them grounded, but really feel like, you know, your hips aren't back. You want your hips moving forward. Okay. Stay here, hold in your half plank. Okay. It feels so much better. And then we're going to lower down halfway chaturanga. Okay. So again, try not to let your hips press back, keep your hips moving forward, bend the elbows about halfway. Okay. Maybe they only bend a pinch. That's fine. Hold it here. Can you hold for five, for four, three, so strong you got this, for two, and one, try to lower all the way down, let your chest touch first, then you can lower your hips down, we'll come up into feet pose, so elbows and forearms down, grounding down into your hands, and then pressing down the lift up, okay, and then we'll add a little head and neck stuff here too, so we have some active stretching, so let's go ahead and look from right to left, just nice and slow. Okay. And just notice how this, you know, maybe opens up your chest a little bit and your shoulders. Notice your low back. Okay. If it starts to get like a little too, you know, dumpy or pressure, you can always walk your elbows forward. Okay. You can slightly tuck your tailbone if that feels okay. Good. And then go ahead and bring your head in line with your spine. Drop your chin towards your chest. Feeling a little bit of stretch to the upper back. Inhaling in, bring your head back in line with your spine, and then drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Good. Keep pressing actively into your forearms and your hands. Good. Bringing your head back in line and switching sides, left ear to left shoulder. Notice this active stretching, how it feels. Good, head back in line with your spine, chin to your chest, and then slowly lower all the way down, hands under your forehead. I'm just pause for a moment here in this um, nice, you know, nice gentle prone position. Okay, good, bend your knees, window wiper here from side to side. <laughs> good, so that same leg positions we were doing on our, you know, hip bones seated, okay, shifting around. Okay, awesome. Great. From here, going to straighten your legs, hands under your shoulders. Okay, we're going to tuck our toes under, and this time we're going to press back up into half plank. Okay, so you want to keep your knees grounded, and I want you guys to move really slow. If you can pause halfway, awesome. Pause halfway to lift up. Come into your half plank. Good. And then we're going to press back child's pose when you're ready. Okay. Good, everyone. Okay, I'm loving that we're like moving in like this nice, slow, mindful way and really checking in with like, what is my body doing? How am I moving? Stay for just a few more deep breaths. Good, walking your hands in towards your knees and your shins, coming up to standing on your knees, pressing your hips forward, reaching your arms up over your head. Again, really press those hips forward, chest up towards the sky, take a nice big deep inhale in. Exhaling, bow down like you're making an offering, child's pose. Inhaling, shifting forward, tabletop, tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. Good, and again, remember your downward dog can be on your forearms. Your knees can stay bent the whole time, okay? Walking your dog out if that feels good to you. And just breathe. Okay, let's stay for two more deep breaths. Inhaling in through your nose. You can exhale out through your mouth. Inhaling in through your nose, seal your lips, exhale out through your nose. Lowering down onto your knees. We're going to step the left leg forward into low lunge, okay? And this is, I'm going to grab my blanket now just for a little padding under my knees, okay? So left foot steps forward, okay? And it's okay if you're, you know, nice and stacked up here, okay? I'm not really looking for us to go into like this really deep lunge today. Um, so you can kind of stay nice and a little bit more square, okay? From here, okay, we're going to slightly tuck the tail just a little bit and think about pressing this hip forward 
So it's not necessarily about bending this knee, it's about this right hip moving forward and it's just to open up this right hip flexor, okay? Hands can be on your left quad and you kind of press down to lift up. I'm gonna reach my right arm up towards the sky and then I'm gonna lean a little bit to the left. Woo, okay, and you should feel a big stretch through the front of the right hip flexor. Okay, if you're, you know, tucking your tail under slightly and it's really just like my tailbone's just really pointing down, okay? Down and then I'm pressing and leaning a little bit to the left. Okay. It's subtle, it's small, okay, but a stretch like this goes a long way. Good. Breathe here. Okay, good. Inhaling in, exhale, rise up, hands can lower down. We're gonna move into half split, Ardha Hamana Asana, straightening the left leg. Okay, flexing the toes up towards the sky. And again, you know, I'm using my blocks, okay? And I'm keeping my left knee bent just to support my low back, okay, and my entry. So you can always be with, here with me as well too, because you actually might get a nice stretch in this way as well, okay? Let's just breathe. <laughs> Move in a way that feels good. Choose what feels best for your body. Good, nice full deep breath. Okay, y'all, we're gonna get fancy, okay? <laughs> we're gonna bend into this left knee. Okay, I'm gonna ditch my blocks for just a moment. Okay, we're gonna come back into this like high lunge. Arms are gonna move into the inside of the left leg, okay? Hands are gonna move down. I'm gonna walk my hands to the right, okay? And you can see my right leg, okay? I'm gonna have to pivot it so that my heel faces back. So now my hips are facing the long edge of my mat, okay? And if you were to come up to standing on your knees, okay, your hips are, you know, facing forward, your chest is facing forward. Look at your left leg, make sure your left knee is moving to the left. Okay, we're gonna bend into this left leg and you can make any adjustments as you need. And here's your warrior two. Arms reach out nice and wide, here's your half warrior, okay? Yeah, and you can stay here. If you bend deeper into this left knee, you can see that I start to get this nice stretch in my inner thighs, okay? I'm feeling it in the right leg. I'm also feeling it a lot in the left hamstring as well. But I want you guys to just take notice, like look down at that left knee, make sure it's moving and tracking like it was if you were standing in warrior two. Okay, good. Keep breathing here. Feel in the sky. Okay, the deeper you bend that left knee, the deeper the stretch. It's not necessary though, just go to your edge. Okay, extended side angle, left forearm down. Right arm reaches up towards the sky. Good, good. You are welcome to slide this left hand in front of your left foot. Okay, and then there's that side angle. You see that? Good, right? Only difference is we're on our bent knee instead of a straight leg. So that nice big side body stretch, press your knee into your left arm, your left arm into your knee. Okay, so you find that resistance, that stabilizing. Okay, inhale in, exhale, slowly rise up. Okay, we're gonna press up and then we're gonna lower our right hand down in line with our right hip to move into side plank, okay? So a little bit of adjusting that we have to do. Okay, I'm gonna have to rotate my left leg in. I'm gonna lift it up. So again, now I'm like in this like neutral position. It feels like internal rotation, but it's neutral, okay? Toes forward, heel back, and then here's our side plank. Yes, and again, foot can stay down or you can lift your foot up, okay? Yeah, good. <laughs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Nice full breath. Exhaling lower down, okay? Use those abdominals. We're gonna press into this left outer edge of the foot to rise up, and here's our gate pose. Left hand down, right arm up towards the sky. Good, here's gate. Okay, and then again, that's a huge side body stretch for me. Really think about puffing air in between each rib on that right side. Good, if you wanna cradle your head, you're welcome to and see what it feels like to drop your head, make it heavy, to change the stretch, your balance. Okay, good, we're gonna rise back up. And then very mindfully, we're gonna just switch back, okay, into tabletop. So I'm just gonna rotate my left toes. I'm gonna come back into warrior two. I'm gonna cartwheel my hands around. 
Okay, be mindful of that back knee, it's really important. And we're gonna step back, tabletop. Yes, you guys, in and out of cat and cow. And again, remember, you know, I'm using a blanket for my knees, but you're welcome to roll up your mat, use a towel, sweatshirt, anything you need, okay? And we're just gonna go to the second side, okay? Okay, so go and step your right foot forward anyway. I'm gonna walk my hands in first to come up to standing on my knees. Right foot steps forward, staying a little bit more stacked than usual. Okay, thinking about just slightly tucking the tail down, pressing the left hip forward to get that nice stretch. Hands can be on your right quad, lifting and pressing your chest up. Good, remember a little bit goes a long way. Left arm can reach up and we'll just gently side bend over to the right. Okay, I'm just gonna change up my angle here so you can kind of see a little bit. I'm keeping my shoulders square, I'm pressing my left hip forward. And again, a little bit goes a long way. Double check that knee. You wanna make sure it's tracking, right? <laughs> if you're shaking and wobbling, all good things. Just being mindful of pressing into that right big toe and your right pinky toe, your right heel. Good, rise up, half split, straightening the right leg. Hips shift back, flexing through the right toes. Okay, here's our hamstring stretch. Good. And even here a little bit, you can play with, you know, thinking about cow in your spine, like thinking about cow in your hips. Okay, that might change the hamstring stretch up a little bit for you. Okay, spine doesn't have to always be rounded. It can be in a flat back. Okay, so just discovering new and different ways of moving and exploring your poses, okay? Good. All right, now we're gonna get fancy with it, okay? So we're gonna bend into this right knee. Hands move into the inside of the right leg. We're gonna walk our hands to the left, okay? We're gonna pivot this left foot back, okay? We're gonna come up to standing. And then again, you can make any adjustments, double check this right knee, make sure it's, you know, stacked on top of your ankle, moving towards your second and third toe. Bend into your right knee, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Focusing over your right fingertips. Here's our half, it's really like Arda, <laughs> Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Okay, and I hope kind of seeing maybe back, my back body a little bit kind of, you know, helps with perspective and change of how things can look too, okay? Good, the deeper you bend into this right knee, the deeper the groin stretch, okay? And remembering not to like sink into the pose, you still wanna press away from the floor, find activation through the ground by pressing into the right heel. Okay, here's our extended side angle, right forearm down, left arm up and over, maybe over your head, up towards the sky. Right hand can slide into the inside of the right ankle, and you want to press your arm against your leg, your leg against your arm, double check that tracking, always checking on that right knee, making sure it looks okay. Good. Good. Keep breathing. Keep pressing, keep pushing. You can drop your head, cradle it. And then from here, nice strong abdominals rising up. Good. And then we're going to shift into that side plank. Okay. So I start to straighten the right leg, left hand in line with the left hip, turning and rotating the toes forward and then floating the leg up off the mat. Okay. And again, toes can be tucked under or pointed back behind you in that left leg. Right foot can stay grounded, does not have to be in line with your hip, just striving for that side plank, any variation. Good, breathing here, feel strong here. Good, take a nice big deep inhale in. Exhaling, right foot lowers down, rise up, gate pose, right hand down, left arm up and over. And again, if you wanna cradle the head here, you're welcome to. And again, just kind of playing with your gait, that nice side body stretch. Good, yeah, even hand behind the head is a really great chest opener too. So you don't always have to grab your head. You can always have your hand just behind your head. Nice chest 
opener as well. Yeah. Breathe. Okay, good. And the nice strong abdominals rise up. Okay, we're gonna flow. You're gonna start to bend back into this right leg. You're gonna cartwheel your hands around to step back very mindfully with your knees, stepping back tabletop. Okay, good. And then a few rounds of cat and cow. Wonderful, when you're ready, downward facing dog. A nice flow of breath here. Good, everyone. Travel to the top of your mat when you're ready. Okay, just go slow, take your time. Hang out here in your forward fold. You can grab onto opposite elbows. Interlace your hands behind your back. Good, and again, just moving in a way that feels nice and supportive for you. Okay, great. And then we're gonna take all those little half poses. We're just gonna move into just, uh, just a nice flow. Again, nice slow flow into the full um, expressions, okay? And like a vinyasa kind of style, okay? <laughs> Good, go ahead and release your hands. Slowly rise up to come all the way up to standing. Take your time. Okay, good. Exhaling hands at your heart center. Inhaling arms reach up over your head, mountain pose. Exhaling, folding forward. Inhaling, lengthening up halfway. And from here, we're going to step the right leg back, high lunge. Okay, take your time. Okay. And again, of course, at any time you want to do the half variation of this, you are more than welcome to, okay? You do not have to do the full expression. Arms will reach up over your head when you're ready, okay? And again, left hand can stay down. You can reach over towards the left, or you can grab your right wrist and lean over in like the bind as well, okay? So your version, your variation of side bending to the left. Good. And again, remember, you can always drop a knee if you need to, okay? <laughs> Inhale in. Exhale, rise up. Hands lower down, surrounding your left foot. Straighten the left leg, wide leg pyramid pose. Good, you're welcome to flex the front leg as well, the front ankle. You can lift the toes up off the mat. Just breathe here. Good, bending back into this left leg. Right heel grounds. We're going to spin up into warrior two, Viravindrasana two. Ooh, how do your hips feel? I hope really open. I hope this feels really strong and sturdy. Really ground into this back leg. Really important. This leg's nice and straight. Good. Nice, full, deep breath. Notice your hips. Notice your legs. Notice all the space. Extended side angle, left forearm down, right arm up and over your head, okay, or up towards the sky. Good. Take your time breathing here. And again, if you want to reach down towards the ground, you're welcome to do that. So now you know, you know, where the shoulders are supposed to be, where the hips are supposed to be. Good. Take a nice big deep inhale in. Exhaling slowly rise up. Okay. We're going to skip the side planks and we're going to cartwheel our hands to step back plank pose. Okay. Plank your way. Lower down, chaturanga. And again, knees down. Knees up, lower halfway, lower all the way down. Your choice of back bend. And when you're ready, downward facing dog. Looking up at your hands, traveling to the top of your mat, nice and slow, take your time. Lift up halfway, exhaling, folding forward, forward fold. This time, left leg steps back, high lunge, take your time. Nice, slow step back, good. Nice, wide step, arms reach up over your head, balancing, okay? 
your variation, your version, right hand down, left arm reaches up and over to side bend to the right. Or you can clasp your left wrist with your right hand and then side bend over. Breathe here, finding your balance. Remember, a little bit goes a long way. Inhale in, exhale release. Inhale in, hands lower down around the right foot, straighten the right leg, wide leg pyramid pose. And again, you're welcome to flex through the ankle and the foot if that feels good. Good, everyone. Okay, bending back into this right leg. Warrior two, left heel ground. Spinning up, take your time. Okay, I just want you to notice how your hips feel. Make any adjustments you need to. Double check that tracking of the right leg. Breathe. Strong, full, soft breath. I actually think the half warrior two is a little more intense than full <laughs> warrior two on this side. Good, take a nice big deep inhale in. Extended side angle, right forearm down, left arm up and over, over your head or up towards the sky. Good, and again, you can explore lowering that right hand in front of your ankle if that feels good. Okay, picking your version and your variation here. Good, inhale in, exhale, release, and then we'll cartwheel the hands around the right leg, step back, plank pose. And again, remember, plank your way. Half plank, full plank, lower down, push up, chaturanga into your back bend of choice. And we'll meet back in downward dog or child's pose, right? Downward dog your way. Okay, really nice, everyone. <laughs> nice flows. Woo, it's nice to move in like, you know, these half variations and, you know, let them grow into like the full variations, all right? So we'll come into our pigeon pose as promised. Okay, so we'll start with the left leg. And just gonna bring your left leg. And again, you can come into the pigeon however you want, from downward dog, you can come into tabletop. Okay, we'll bring the left knee towards our left wrist. And then of course, any, props you want to use to feel supportive. And then just remembering, right, like the angle of this front leg determines the intensity of the stretch, right? So if your left foot's tucked under, you may not get as big of a stretch, but as you start to bring this left foot towards the right wrist or towards the top of your mat, you might get a little bit deeper stretch in the glutes, okay? And again, you want to just be mindful of your knee and what angle you want to take here. And just make sure you have space for your hips to go down, okay, or on a prop. Good. And as you're folding forward, you know, we're folding over our shin. Right? And you're welcome to take any of those variations, you know, we played with at the beginning of class. You wanna walk your hands over towards your uh, left knee, you can. Ooh, that's actually, Doing that gives me a nice big stretch actually through my right hip flexor and psoas. So, you know, you can play with how deep you're going. If you want to stay upright, if you want to prop yourself up. Okay. And we're going to hang out here for a, for a while. Okay. Good. I was seeing everybody for a while and now <laughs> I only see screens. <laughs> so nice full deep breath, breathing, releasing. And this is a great place, you know, to check back in. Right, did you move in a grounded, supportive, stabilizing way tonight? Were you allowing yourself to move, you know, internally, really listening to what your body is asking it of? 
Well, don't worry. If you're like, oh gosh, I forgot about all that. Now's the time you can go back to it. All right. Here's the space. We have, you know, this moment of release and pause, right? There's a lot of like information and a lot of movement. Okay, now we can kind of come back to that, like that, finding that stillness, moving into stillness. Any final, a little more breath in your shoulders and in your trap? Can you release any tension from your face, your jaw, your forehead? Can you let your mind just be present in the moment? Just noticing any thoughts that keep popping up and you know, just working through them to stay present. Okay, cool. We're gonna take our hands, we're gonna walk them under our shoulders. Take your time. Okay, and again, I want you to just move in a way that feels good to come out of your pigeon pose. You're welcome to move through a vinyasa. You're welcome to <laughs> sit down and just like roll your legs over. That's totally fine. Come into tabletop. Okay. Just come out of pigeon, however feels good. Rounds of cat and cow. Anything goes. Okay. I just want you to, you know, be smart movers. Okay. You're all yogis. <laughs> you can move in a way that, you know, is feeling supportive to you. Okay, and then we'll go to that left side, or excuse me, the right side. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we already did the left side, right side, okay? <laughs> right knee towards the right wrist. Good, and again, you can always play with this angle of your shin, okay? But again, you want to be in a place that's supportive for this right knee, okay? Because we, we only have one set of knees, hopefully, right? <laughs> right, Don and Katie, as I know your partners are <laughs> have had knee surgeries and things like that, but we only get one knee and we want to take care of it, okay? So... Just be mindful, move in, move in a supportive way, use props, okay? Props are not a crutch. They are really a great tool for our practice, whether you're working through an injury or not, okay? It can really help support our bodies in ways we never really, you know, thought it would be supportive, okay? We only have this one body, okay? We wanna take care of it. Good. And of course, you know, I think I've said this story so many times, you know, there was about a, like a year that pigeon pose was extremely painful for me and my whole leg would go numb. And so I just had to find different ways to stretch that weren't in pigeon. So, you know, there's figure four on your back. Um, there's some seated postures as well. So know that there's always options. You don't always have to do um, this pose, okay? And if one side is like, asking for something different, right? You can do that as well too. Don't feel like you're gonna to be totally imbalanced. Going back to that rhythm of your breath. And then of course, any variations, you can play with walking your hands over towards, you know, your right knee. Okay, see if that changes the stretch for you. Okay. Always discovering new things and ways to move in our body.
releasing any unnecessary tension on your shoulders, your upper back, your chest, your neck, your face. Even your tongue, can you soften your tongue? What's changing, what's staying the same? Slowly start to walk your hands in, just nice and gentle under your shoulders. Take your time. Okay. And again, you can come out of this however you like to, but we're just going to make our way and meet on our backs. Okay. So gently just coming out of your pigeon pose on this right side, and we'll slowly lower down. And I'm just going to take my block with me. I'm going to place it in between my inner thighs. Okay. And I'm just going to, we're going to come into just a little bit of twisting here. Okay. So go and just uh, bring your uh, legs over to the right. And again, you're welcome to use a pillow or a block. Okay. And again, this is just nice little su um, support for the sacrum here. Arms can reach out in front of your shoulders, release your head down, and then just bring this left arm all the way out to the left as you twist. Good, take a nice full deep inhales in. Nice exhales out. You can even exhale out through the mouth if you need to, bring that nice release. But for any reason, you know, you are not twisting, you're welcome to just lie on your side, okay? Because, you know, sometimes we don't even just lie here and you can even just play with a shoulder stretch by just reaching, you know, those left fingertips back, but keeping your shoulders stacked, okay? So, and again, lots of options here if you are not twisting tonight. Okay, and then from here, we'll slowly bring that left arm back over to the right, and we'll make our way over to the other side. Okay. Let our knees fall over to the left. Stacking everything, reaching your arms out, and then reaching those right fingertips back behind you, twisting, bringing that sternum up towards the sky as best as you can, squeezing the pillow or block between your legs, feeling that stabilization. Go ahead and again, if you're not twisting tonight, you're welcome to keep your shoulders stacked and just reach this right arm up towards the sky, kind of like that, you know, like chest opener we do on the ground or against the wall. You can do it here, <laughs> kind of letting your arm kind of float back to stretch your chest and your shoulders. Okay, and again, you can exhale out through your mouth if you want to find a little bit of release. <sighs> A few more deep breaths on this side. And then slowly just make your way back over to your left side. And we're going to come up to a seated position. Okay, I know I'm, I've been kind of cheating you guys on Shavasana lately, but we're going to end seated tonight. 
And again, you're welcome to sit on any props you like, or maybe you feel like you don't need to now, okay? <laughs> and again, just move slow, come up to a nice comfortable seated position. Maybe roll your shoulders back a few times. Maybe find this little wiggle again so that you're really sitting on top of your sit bones, really nice and anchored. Okay, okay great. And let's just place our right hand on the center of our chest and then our left hand on top of it. And gently just press down. So again, it's just like finding a little bit of this resistance and resist it. Okay, so don't let your hands, don't let someone, you know, press you down. Okay. Bring you down. You want to lift your heart up into your hands as you're pressing down and let that be a little bit of a chest opener. Okay. A heart opener, let your traps relax and release. Maybe lean back just a pinch. So your abs kick in. So you're sitting nice and upright and straight. Just take a few deep breaths here in this mudra. Padaya Dra Mudra. Right, that insight, that self compassion, self control, safety. Take a nice big deep inhale in through your nose. Big exhale out through your mouth. Bringing your palms together to touch. And so you just begin to smile in gratitude of your practice. Namaste, everyone. May you go in peace, Shanti. <laughs> Thank you.